Really, when people hear this, yes, you are forgiven of all your sins, past, present, and future. But actually, you have, when you receive Christ, you are forgiven of your past sins. From now on, you must confess when you sin. That makes you self-occupied, self-conscious. And they say, well, what's this idea, Pastor Prince, of telling people their sins are forgiven, past, present, and future? You think that people, you think that people who think that their sins are forgiven, past, present, and future will, will become licentious, rebellious. But Jesus said, to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Whoever is forgiven much. God has not already forgiven our future sins. This is one of the fundamental errors of the hyper-grace or false grace movement. Jesus paid for all of our sins. The New Testament makes clear that as believers, we still need to receive forgiveness. For example, the Lord's Prayer that Jesus instructed us to pray in Matthew, the sixth chapter. And this was for the disciples. The Sermon on the Mount was for the disciples. He teaches us to pray to for, for God to forgive us as we forgive others. James, the fifth chapter, person that's sick, if they've committed sins also, when they're prayed for, they will be forgiven. That means they were not already forgiven. So, of course, we still receive forgiveness. But here's what we need to understand. It is not the forgiveness of salvation. In other words, when we got born again, our sins were forgiven and God put us in the category of the righteous. He took us out of the category of the damned, the unrighteous, the unholy, and he put us in the category of the saved, the righteous, and called us holy. And now says, my holy ones, my saints, now live a holy life. If we sin as believers, the, re the forgiveness we receive is forgiveness within the family. It's not the forgiveness of justification. It is relational forgiveness. And yes, that is ongoing. Just like if I sinned against my wife, if I was unkind to her or angry towards her, I would say, honey, please forgive me. That was ugly what I did. There's no justification for it because we have a relationship. Because I have a relationship with God. If I blow it in some way, Father, forgive me, wash me. That's not bondage. It's wonderful, it's pure, it's liberating, and it helps me keep a clean conscience. Yes, you are forgiven of all your sins, past, present, and future. But actually, you are, when you receive Christ, you are forgiven of your past sins. From now on, you must confess when you sin. That makes you self-occupied, self-conscious. But Jesus said, to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Whoever is forgiven much will love much.
Peter said, to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Jesus said, to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little.